Impala is a temporary ventricular support device intended for short term use indicated for the treatment of ongoing cardiogenic shock that occurs immediately that's less than 48 hours following acute myocardial infarction or open heart surgery as a result of isolated left ventricular failure that is not responsive to optimal medical management and conventional treatment measures The intent of impala ventricular support system therapy is to reduce ventricular work and to provide a circulatory support necessary to allow heart recovery and early assessment of residual myocardial function. Impala catheter pack contains patient tracking foam, purge cassette, connection cable for impala controller, guide wire, impala introducer kit and finally impala catheter. Impala catheter comes in three different sizes. Impala 2.5 for 2.5 liters, Impala CP for 3.3 to 3.7 liters with a maximum power setting with a boost function up to 4.3 liters for a maximum of 5 minutes and Impala 5 for 5 liters. Add 25,000 international units of heparin to 500 ml of 5% dextrose to use as a purge fluid through the Impala catheter. Heparin based dextrose purge solution creates a pressure barrier to prevent blood from entering critical components of the impala heart pump it also prevents deposition of biomaterial in critical purge gap it is important to note that saline solution should not be used in the purge solution as this may impact motor durability impala catheter is an intravascular microaxial blood pump that supports patient circulatory system during cardiogenic shock and low output syndrome impala 2.5 Impala CP and Impala 5 catheters can be inserted percutaneously through the femoral or the axillary artery into the left ventricle. Pass the purge cassette, connection cable for Impala controller, guide wire, Impala introducer kit and Impala catheter to the sterile field. Get the purge cassette and spike off the sterile field. Spike the 5% dextrose heparin fluid bag. Open the purge cassette door. Insert the purge cassette into the automated impeller controller until it snaps in place. Slide the purge disc into the slot to the right of the purge cassette until it snaps into place. The controller will automatically begin priming the purge cassette. Get the impeller controller connection cable from the sterile field and push firmly. Remove the impeller catheter from its package using sterile technique and inspect the catheter including its connector for damage. Insert the catheter plug into the connection cable socket. The tab and the slot must be aligned during connection. pull back onto the connection to make sure that the plug has snapped into place impala will start purging heparin dextrose solution through yellow and red lower connectors connect yellow to yellow when instructed connect the red lower lock to the clear end Squeeze the white tab for further deairing until impala finishes purging. Once finished purging, confirm in impala that heparin in dextrose is the purge solution. Anticoagulate the patient before removing dilator. Make sure the ACT is about 250 seconds. Confirm purge fluid exit impala catheter. Remove guide wire before starting impala. Blood flow is controlled by P range from P0 to P8 maximum. Before starting the impeller, make sure that the ACT is more than 250 seconds and also reconfirm that the placement guide wire has been removed. Also reconfirm that the control display in aortic waveform and the radiopaque marker band is located at the aortic valve. Mm-hmm.